Hello everyone, I wanted to talk about um, snobbery and when is um, calling a work, dismissing a work of art snobbery and when is it not? Now of course there's a large amount of subjectivity to this but to me, to me, I, I, I personally believe when it comes to evaluating art it's snobbish to, di to dismiss a genre just outright without, without, without really uh, taking the time to know what it's about or, or viewing a genre as being um, inherently inferior. To me, um, that, is, that is what snobs do. However, I don't think it is uh, snobbish, for example, to, to, to say that there, are, that there is high art and there is low art within a genre, within all genres, really. Now, if you're going to say that, uh, going to say that no art is inherently better than any other kind of art, well, then you know the the, uh, the word uh, snob or snobbishness really loses its meaning, and you're only using it because um, because your work or something is being attacked, uh, be, and not because um, the perspective is actually uh, snobbish. Because I think that in art, you know, the evaluating the quality or whether or not something is better or worse is is very important. To me, it's just snobbery comes into play when someone makes a sweeping judgment when they're not really uh, educated on the subject. And so, for example, uh, in the horror genre, for example, a, a version of high art could be, if you're, if you're talking about uh, movies, it could be something like uh, The Exorcist or The Shining or even in terms of books, and then um, low art is something like uh, uh, the Friday the, th the 13th franchise or something like that. Now, here, here's the thing. If, if, if something is low art, that doesn't mean that it inherently has no value. Sometimes there's there are certain kinds of art, for example, where it's meant to be just fun and kind of tongue-in-cheek and you can enjoy it on a base level. And so it's not even that low art is necessarily bad, it's just, but it's not aspiring to be complicated or to say something about the human condition. Therefore, it is low art in that sense, but not that it's necessarily unentertaining. And, uh, and so if you were to go to the romance genre, for example, uh, you would have maybe um, uh, Pride and Prejudice would be uh, high art, uh, Fifty Shades of Grey would be low art, you know, and, and um, to me it all depends on whether or not a work of art is complex and nuanced or whether or not it is pandering to certain groups of people in order to satisfy, you know, base instincts. And so, to me, that's the distinction between uh, high art and low art. And, um, and so, um, and, and so, uh, to me, people need to have a more nuanced perspective about things. So, yes, it's extreme to just call a genre inherently uh, inferior, but also, it can also be extreme, though, to say that there's no such thing as high art or low art or that you can't judge art in any way. Now, of course, there's going to be a large amount of subjectivity to this, but I think that ultimately um, people need to be careful about using the word um, uh, snob because because uh, because a lot of people would just use that in order to deflect you know from criticism in in, in a certain regard, and that people need to be able to uh, to evaluate art in their own way and to be able to to come to conclusions about whether or not they think it falls into the camp of high art or low art so that's uh, my perspective on the situation